Hey, hey, come here. I got a, I got a secret for you. Ben Bishop is pretty good. I mean, I know. I, I've watched him. I mean, he's played really well. And he was scary good this last game. I mean, right in time for Halloween, right? And to be honest, I wouldn't even be surprised if he had his mask on, his gloves on. He was just... He's just moaning down. I mean, he had his gloves, and he could have sniped, could have gloved it with his little skeleton arms here. I mean, he could have just been spooky good with his mask as well. I mean, he was really good with the pads. Maybe those were like, I don't know. Uh, it was like Besser and, and Horvat. He probably just scared them out of their shoes, and they just couldn't play on the ice. They, they were just stunned by how spooky good Ben Bishop was, and they just couldn't do anything because they were just too scared for it. Even shooting or even doing anything on Ben Bishop. Uh, makes sense, I guess. No, you gullible piece of crap. I just made all that stuff up. Ah, uh, you got me, but Ben Bishop's still good, right? Oh, well, that, that's real. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the SFR today. I'm going to be talking about Stars vs. Canucks, game 12 of the Stars season. Um, it ended up in a 2 1 win somehow. Um, and the, well, let's talk about it right now. Let's get it in right into it. Now, I just want to say that the four check in the first period was fantastic. I thought the Stars were just doing amazing jobs on the four check, man. They were fantastic in the first. And it definitely led to a lot of chances. Not a lot of them got in, of course, but it definitely led to great offensive plays and great chances. Tozado with a wide open net, and yes, he misses the net. I think it goes off a defenseman, something like that. It doesn't get on net, and it is a great scoring shot by Tozado, but it just doesn't go through. And. Man, that was just a, that was just a, like a scary situation. I'm sorry for the pun. I, I can't, I can't help myself, man. I just can't, but it was a scary situation, and he definitely had a great chance there. He could have buried it, and it would have been a different game, definitely. Now, the Stars were doing excellent jobs in the first period of getting in the zone nicely, smoothly, and especially on the power play, they were able to get lots of good chances and ended up scoring, but hey, um, on the, they were just able to do great hockey in the first period, um, they were just overall fantastic. And of course, Bishop was fantastic in this game. I think he made like 38, 38, 38 saves and 39 shots, something like that. But he was fantastic. He absolutely shut the Canucks down. Um, and they were just able to get... Not, I want to say they weren't able to get anything going because they got lots of um, good chances. But Bishop was just shutting it down, man. And he was just closing the door, closing opportunities. And he was able to just close play when he needed to. He was calling Clu Calm, cool, and collected, and he was just shutting them down. But so was Markstrom on the other end, especially after this next goal. Right at the start of the second period, a power play is still on the board. Sagan get, just corks from the pass through the slot. He gets it on on the corner of where he's where on the short side he would be, be going on the other corner. But he shot it straight through that corner, and Markstrom couldn't save it. There was a review to say if it was a good goal, if like the post from the net went off, but they ch changed that rule. Um, and it is a good goal, so that's great. Um, and Zing gets his another goal for that line. Just an absolutely fantastic line. I want, I want, want more. I want more depth scoring right now. Um, it isn't fantastic, but you know we aren't. If you just rely on that first line, uh, it won't totally disappoint you, especially this game. But before that, before that goal, Jamal Smith had a penalty kill um, breakaway, and he shot it on Markstrom's pad, and he just, like, absolutely stoned him. Like, that was an amazing save by Markstrom, and he, at the time, it was still 0-0. But Jamal Smith, great game. I feel like he was fantastic. He was fast. He was just able to make a lot of good plays, and he was, of course, physical as well. The shot attempt goes off of Bishop, and the puck is right in front. Lindell can't clear it. And then, I think it was Gagne, Sam Gagne, um, just pokes it in. It was just like a little bouncing puck there. He just, like, kind of just shoves the puck, shoves the stick in there. Uh, and, ooh, uh, uh, sexual, sexual jokes, but hey, um, he, de he does poke it in there, um, and he gets the goal. So, it was a, it was kind of a rough goal um, in dirty areas, of course, but hey, he gets a goal, a goal is a goal, so there you go. Now, of course, after that couple of goals, the second period was just kind of a bore fest. Um, there wasn't a lot going on. Of course, there was a couple of chances by both teams, but goalies were just shutting it down. There wasn't a lot to go off on, on the later halves of the second, and it was a pretty boring game at that point. But hey, the third period was fantastic. 
third period, a lot of chances from both teams. Both teams were fantastic in the offensive zone. And, well, there was a quite a few goal and opportunities, but Bishop was fantastic for the Stars, and Markstrom's great for the Canucks, and that's just what it comes down to. But, hey, the Stars going to overtime. That's pretty much a rarity at this point. If you don't remember, I think the Stars went, like, 40 games last season. It was something stupid how they went, like, this super long streak of not even going into overtime for the whole season. It was kind of, a, like, it was kind of, it kind of sucked because I love overtime hockey, and they they did it a lot in the 106 or whatever it was, point season. Um, but I love overtime, and I love seeing it. Um, and they didn't do a lot for last season. And it's taken a while to get it. Well, it's taken until game 12 to get into the overtime. And I love overtime hockey, so it's a big win for me. Now, before we get into the goal, you know that goal. Bishop was phenomenal. This this overtime and in this whole game, but especially this overtime, he was lighting it up, man. Not in the scoring race, but, dude, he was amazing. Um, the BD, And, you know, I, I gotta give some credit to the defense. The defense was good today. Yeah. It was scary good. Even though they allowed a little bit of chances there, um, they they were still solid a lot of the times through. Bishop bailed them out a little bit there. For this whole game, there was a quite a few chances that the Canucks could have gone through. Um, but hey, that's hockey. But the defense was fine. And I, I don't know what I don't know how I can say this at this point. The defense was fine. It was it was good. Just like the last game we allowed only one goal. It might be looking up for us. I don't know. I mean, both times of it, the goalies were just fantastic. But the defense was okay, and that's something to go off of. And then a shot off the boards goes right to Radulov. He um, he skates up into the offensive zone. He doesn't even have a thought of passing it, dude. Um, and I wouldn't either. There wasn't a lot of room for the other guy. I think it was bad up the, out there. But Radulov shoots it. When you're in doubt, just shoot it. It goes off Markstrom and into the net. Two one stars in overtime over the Vancouver Canucks, and hey, we're seven and five now. I think we might be second in the division over Colorado. Um, I think they had a six and five record as well. Um, and hey, that that's something great. That's something that will definitely boost the morale of this team. And th this was probably the biggest win at this point for the season. And getting a team like the Canucks, this young Canucks team down, especially when they're in the hunt, they're in the Specific where it's not the strongest division, and there's, um, I mean, there's they're in the playoff spot, playoff spot, I'm pretty sure. They're doing well, and it's very, very good to um, put their morale down and get a good win here. So the final standings are for the Stars, 7-5, and five, and the Canucks, 6-3-2. and two. The Canucks are still doing good. I mean, they're surprising a lot of people. But if you remember last season, at the start of the season, the Canucks were doing really well. Um, they were doing, they were getting wins, and I don't know if it'll definitely, tra I don't know if it'll translate to the end of the season, especially since last season, um, they were doing very well off the gate, and then they just stumbled, so I don't have mer very much hope for them, um, it's good that they've done well off the gate, but I think they're gonna come down back to earth, um, because they're the Canucks, but just a, just a round of applause for Bishop, man, he deserved this win wholeheartedly, a fantastic game by him. He was shutting everything down, and the one goal that I went, did get in, the defense should have scooped out of there. But, hey, Bishop is really good, and that's something that is so exciting, man. Having a goalie that is good has, hasn't has happened for a while. Since, like, well, I want to say since Mario Circo, because we've had a few decent, few decent goalies since then, but Lennon hasn't really been all that good. And, um, of course, yummy. Well, let's not speak about him, please. But that's what we have for today, guys. Guys, did enjoy. Make sure to like. If you guys really enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.